Hi YouTube viewers, this is Vicious Animal Thing. Today I'm doing a review on the CyberPower CP1500 AVR LCD battery backup. This is a pretty big battery backup for home use. It has automatic voltage regulator, LCD status panel, it's got software, USB and serial connectivity, it's got your standard phone, fax, modem, broadband protection, coax cable stuff, eight power outlets, one transformer sized outlet. Um, something that I've never really used before but I would like some feedback on if you have some is uh, these guarantees the companies offer. Just looking at the side panel here for a second, the normal battery life is three to six years. I have another cyber power battery backup. The battery probably lasts five to seven years I would estimate and I was very happy with that so I'm looking forward to that kind of lifespan out of this battery too. On the back panel here they just talk a little bit about the data software, the USB serial connectivity, coax protection, broadband protection and here you can see the back panel of the UPS and the front panel. Also talks a little bit about the AVR system. Okay it's time to open it up here see what we got. I'm just going to set this down for a second. Oh, it's pretty nicely packed. So here's the contents, obviously the UPS. They include the software, uh, manual, um, telephone cord, USB cable, and a coax cable. According to the instructions at this point, all you have to do is plug it in and it's basically ready to rock. There is a warning, and this is important. Do not plug things like laser printers, paper shredders, copiers, space heaters, vacuums, or drills or anything like that into UPS's. Basically you just overload them and fry them. So this unit weighs 25.6 pounds and the instructions include a little bit about how to change the battery. I have worked on a similar one. It's the 1500 but the Enterprise version and you just unscrew a bolt off the bottom of the face plate and remove the face plate and there you can see that there's two batteries joined. So replacing the batteries is pretty easy. Okay, so here's the power on test. Let's see what happens. That looks like it's working. Here's a pretty cool feature of this UPS is it's got this button here that changes the display. So now it's showing output voltage, now it's showing the hertz, showing the kilowatt output. I'm not sure what percent output that is. That might be line versus battery or something. Uh, battery capacity is 100%. Estimate runtime is 100 minutes. And then back to voltage. And here's just a shot of the side of the unit. I like their logo, that looks pretty cool. Okay, now I've got the CyberPower battery backup system hooked up and got a computer hooked up to it now. And let's see what she looks like. So output 124 volts, 60 hertz. Uh, 135 thousandths kilowatt, so 135 watts, 15% output, 100%, estimated runtime is 43 minutes, and back to the input. And you can see there the load, it's considering the load the first bar, so it's not really seeing much of a load, and that's 24 inch monitor, um, pretty standard computer. It's doing some updates and stuff, but it's not really doing a whole lot. But 
that's probably going to be pretty consistent as far as this computer goes. Connecting the battery back up to the computer is as simple as just plugging in the USB. And Windows automatically will detect it. So installing the software is very straightforward. Your typical Windows installation. And here's the utility running. And there's a couple different tabs that you can go to. And the current status. You can configure schedules and run times, and notifications, voltages, self-test, and some help information. So pretty cool little utility they include. Looks like uh, this CyberPower unit's going to work out pretty well and I'm sure it'll give me quite a few years of good service. And uh, this is Vicious Animal Things saying thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post and I'll get back to you.